Hello my friends and welcome back to new video. I'm Mohsen and I want to talk about the estate. Estate in Jetpack Compose in this video. So if you are ready, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. Give me a thumbs up for this video and let's get started. In the last videos, I showed you how to uh, use different types of button, but uh, I haven't talked about the unclick feature of the buttons in this video i'm going to show you how to use it but to use this we need another thing that is called a state let's see what is a state i'm not a big fan of reading definitions in the websites like uh, developers and uh, other websites for you so I'm going to show it to you practically and during uh, this coding, I'm going to explain what is a state. Uh, here, I have a button, I have a column and inside this button, I want the text. And uh, we have to write something for the text of the button. Let's create a variable here call it count equal to zero and here count equals to dollar sign count okay here uh, i have uh, this button now and uh, inside this Uh, unclick feature i want to increment the value of this count so technically i have a variable here the value of this variable is zero and anytime that i'm pressing the button i want to increment uh, this value and display it in the text of the button let me add a log here that the back and the tag can be count the text dollar sign count okay everything is ready let's check it on the emulator okay uh, here i have my button and let me open like cat uh, okay we are in uh, level debug and here is my tag account yeah okay i'm going to press this button as you can see nothing is happening here the value is zero but here uh, in the debug, I have the new value for the button. Whenever I'm pressing, I have a new value. That means in the backend, the logical codes are working, but uh, there is no connection between this logical codes and the UI. First, that the UI was created when I was uh, building this application. Uh, the state of that variable the value of that variable was zero and it remains zero all the time in the view now i have to connect the backend and the ui together how we should do this let me show you another thing here as well uh, let's add a spacer and here i'm going to copy and paste this text okay now i have a, a widget text outside of this button as well so consider 
uh, we have a text like the text view of the classical android system and i want to uh, display a text on it whenever i am pressing this button in the classical android system any widget had uh, one id to uh, be identified uh, by that id uh, i would write here the id and then set text but there is no id here in the jetpack compo so uh, how should i uh, set the text on this text and as you see i'm using the variable and it doesn't work uh, so what to do let's see on the emulator as you can see the text of the text view is also constant so the problem is that uh, we cannot uh, define the variable like that we should use the state how like this remember and then mutable state of and then here i'm going to write zero uh, the result is the same but the type of uh, giving identifying uh, the value for this uh, variable is now different and as you can see here i have uh, a small error what to do here i have to use the value of the count and now if you check here uh, we have like some extra text that we don't want them so here as well we should use the value and wherever that we are using this variable now let's check it on the emulator and in the locket as well okay i'm going to press the button no you see one two three four and here also i have them in the locket and in the view so now the backend the logical parts and the view are synced together and working together or attached together now and uh, there is another type of uh, identifying a variable using a state uh, i don't need these values here instead of this equal sign i'm going to write y and i have to import this and again i have to import this and that works now good without using the values so let's check it again installed the locket is here and this is uh, the emulator you can see that anytime that i'm uh, clicking on this uh, button the value of the button will be changed the text of the button will be changed the value of the variable will be changed and here in the logcat is the same so uh, the codes like the backend codes and the view are synced uh, now uh, so uh, today we learn how to use the state and that's a great uh, like content because we needed too much uh, during using the jetpack compost uh, in the next videos i'm going to make uh, some more content about the jetpack compost fundamental and i think within two weeks we will start uh, creating uh, let's say practical videos using jetpack compost so uh, if you want to see that videos please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and uh, hit the bell button to be aware about those new videos if you have any question any comment any suggestion please write down below uh, in the comment box and i will be so happy to read and answer them and if you like this video give me a thumbs up for this video thank you for your time bye bye